Good day, traders. Mindset reset. Uh, Tuesday, day two. We had several fantastic opportunities today, uh, and all you had to do was sit on your hands and wait. Uh, there was no major red news on the calendar today. We had opportunities in gold. NASDAQ, I felt, was the cleanest uh, for myself in terms of the indexes. Um, we had Japanese yen, Euro yen. There were opportunities on Swiss franc. I've come back, just had a great workout. A couple of things uh, to answer a couple of questions specifically. Number one, it's important to understand at the beginning of the week the opening range. Uh, we talked about out of balance markets, markets that close in breakout, and understanding also if they have broken weekly levels in the process of doing that, and in some cases, monthly levels. And I believe in the case of uh, Swiss franc, maybe even yearly levels uh, for this year. So those levels are significant. And, and what's more important, though, is when a market is in breakout, uh, for example, we had uh, Japanese yen broke out, contained above the closing price of the week. We've triggered other time frame traders into the market. That market at the open of the New York session was below the breakout level. So remember what Dalton says. If a market opens outside of the range, the previous day's range in breakout, it, ha it is out of balance and has the potential to either return to value or potentially continue in the direction of the breakout. It could be a large range day, as opposed to a market that opens within the range, uh, for example, gold, opens within Monday's opening range inside of the high low boundary, but but the failed breakout of Friday's low of day of uh, Friday is the target for traders at the New York open session. So breakouts that close and breakout, but if the market pulls back inside of the range when the session opens and begins, could potentially now trade back to the other side of the range. Uh, and so paying attention to where a market breaks out. And if it stays broken out, can give traders a lot of information if they sit and are patient enough and wait for that market to first hour, put in a higher or low, whether it's making higher highs as we saw in gold for the pullback to close to the high to sorry to the low of day level from Friday's low of day failed breakout now with higher highs is a setup for dump and pump. Japanese yen, lower low on the inside, pumping up breaking down and coiling underneath of closing price and inside of the breakout from Friday's high of day for a parabolic explosive short trade down uh, New York open and then the new hour capitulating in that move. So levels, number one, paying attention to breakout traders and opening range. Opening range, initial balance. So we had large moves on the euro and pound and we're we've extended that range on a day one, on an opening range. So Japanese yen, if you go back and look, it's a narrow range, open range, up high. Uh, Euro and pound, large range, opening ranges on Monday. Levels, failed breakouts, high and low of day, closing price. As I mentioned earlier in other videos, the closing price of the week, from the beginning of the week, the price begins to auction back and forth away from that level or towards that level. And that is the point of value that the market starts off with at the beginning of the week. The big thing to gather from that is other time frame traders. So as I keep sort of reinforcing the concept that when people see a five minute chart, they think you're catching a move. You're catching a little five minute you know, swing high or swing low or whatever. But we're, we're trying to position ourselves with a larger template for example, NASDAQ inside day, it was the only index that broke a daily level and it broke it earlier in the day and sold down from there. What, what can that tell us? We already had other time frame traders triggered into the markets. They have already sold off from that level once before. Now, as one trader said, he didn't like the size of the pin at the open of the New York session. Understand they already sold off from that level once before during the day, dropped it down and pumped it up into the open of the New York session engulfments, just like a first bar trade, trapping the upper level of volume 
in a larger template with an inside day false break potential thesis for a measured range expansion down targeting not only a, a range expansion but potentially the low of day why is that where is the money we had other time frame traders triggered into the market potentially on the long side we had other time frame traders coming into the market on the short side at the high of day level remember those levels are potentially where other time frame traders are going to position themselves into the market it's not just a stop hunt those levels represent where sellers have come in before and where buyers have come in before understand that that's the most important thing if you tie that in with the larger template then you'll quit trying to wait for a stop hunt or looking for a stop hunt or catching the high and buying the low it's about setups so it's important to always have the larger template thesis tied in I'm always looking for a parabolic opportunity tied in with the bigger thesis not just because it's at a, at a daily high or a daily low or make sure the fugazi is when you're inside and you're and you don't have a larger thesis but you're just trying to read the candles and you're not even at a level so you need to understand if you're already in a breakout that's failed or a breakout that is continuing and it's driven by other time frame traders. Really important to understand the concept of asymmetrical risk reward. We want to be able to target maybe five times our risk on the trade, maybe 10 times the risk on our trade as the week and the template unfold and our ranges get larger, opening range, initial balance. We now have a range expansion. We have a higher high and a lower low potentially, or maybe just lower lows or maybe just higher highs, depending on the instrument. As the range expands, day one, day two, we can now potentially develop a thesis for either a day three trade on Wednesday, maybe, maybe a, a Thursday trade opportunity, maybe a Friday trade opportunity. Maybe one instrument is only gonna give us one best trade candidate out of the week, except that if we're diligent enough, and again, as I said yesterday, if we have a basket large enough where we have a different different markets, different instruments, we should be able to find one high quality opportunity in the session that we're trading over 10 or 15 different instruments. Three indexes, gold, oil, some currencies, some uh, cross rate currency pairs, ones that may, uh, again, just reflect one great opportunity, whether that's for Asia, London, or New York. We had opportunities in every session today uh, for different traders and different instruments. Yen cross pairs uh, gave short trades in the U.S. session. We had opportunities on Euro Oz. We had uh, Aussie major red news uh, last night, North American time. But afterwards, after that news re was released, we had low hanging fruit continuation opportunities. So just encouraging traders again to be patient, sit on your hands. New York Open gave traders zero stress zero heat opportunities and I know several traders sized into a few of those congratulations awesome and I know some other traders again um, just just sort of engaging in a couple of maybe earlier situations and the market may not be ready to completely make that full move yet and so again if I take a starter early on or if I'm going to engage in, in, a, in a first hour trade I want to make sure that it's tied into that larger time frame thesis where other time frame traders are going to be driving that move. So stepping back, being patient, no major red news tomorrow, I don't believe in the U.S. session. Uh, and none on Friday. We have some on the Canadian dollar on Friday, but no none, none other U.S. dollar cross pairs in the U.S. I think we have some on Thursday. So a relatively clean week for major red news, which means stepping back, looking for the easiest opportunities, maybe failed breakouts, maybe second day continuation trades, as we saw in the Euro Yen, maybe uh, a day three parabolic blowing off in the direction of that range expansion, or maybe a low of week reversal opportunity or high of week reversal opportunity, maybe on the backside on a Thursday or a Friday, depending on how those templates unfold. But two or three high quality setups, we've already had those this week. Uh, Free cash, easy free cash, zero stress. If I can't see a zero stress opportunity, I sit and wait. Sit on my hands and wait until something's laying on the floor in the corner and all I have to do is walk over and bend down and pick it up. Don't want stress like Paul Tudor Jones says, make your trading a pursuit of pleasure. 
And then when we get a five star opportunity for sizing in heavy, starter, adding, 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 price confirming, the trade behaving as it should, behavior of the trader, being able to understand when to size in on the five star opportunity, taking money out, getting paid on the trade, and holding on for range expansion opportunities, whether that's just with a trailer or with more size on that opportunity as the template unfolds. Uh, great week so far. Keep it simple. Get out. Have a great workout. Beautiful sunny day here in Canada. Um, Going to get on with my day. We'll have a technical video later this afternoon. Appreciate all the feedback and questions. Again, I'll try to keep answering as many as I can. Failed breakouts understand when markets close out of balance. So they break out and close out of balance. Understand what type of range it is, a narrow range. Go look at the Japanese yen. Compare that to the British pound and the euro. Large range opening ranges. Failed breakouts like gold. 9.30 a.m. New York time. New York equity markets open for reversal opportunities. Depending on which market, euro, yen, uh, range expansion, continuation, day two trade. Swiss franc, high of year, high of week, month, day reversal, and Japanese yen failed breakout, targeting the low of the day. Have a great day, traders, and may the markets go with you.